Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to my grim existence in the future as a ship salvager. Today, we are back out in Hard Spaceship Breaker, and I'm so glad you guys liked the first episode because I have been patiently waiting for this game. Uh, last episode, we hit level six, which I believe, if I remember correctly, we should have a few upgrades here. Uh, so we're going to get as many upgrades as we possibly can because starting off with, we really don't have much in this game. All right, I definitely want to get the overheat cooldown. Uh, because I am constantly running into overheat issues. So we're going to use 21 of our tokens for that. I don't know if I ha really need durability yet. I haven't actually damaged any of my tools, which is surprising. Um, grapple, we have a lot of upgrades on. Holy crap. Oh, uh, this one should definitely be worth it. We can upgrade the strength. It's usually pretty good, but when I get to heavy pieces, they are very slow to move. Obviously, the better... Uh, we can move things the faster we'll get jobs done. So that's good. I don't think I'm going to get all the upgrades. There's actually quite a lot that have that has come out. Yeah, I think I'm going to save the rest of my points. I think we unlock a bunch more at level seven. So we should hopefully get that today. Now, I don't know. Don't remember what we were doing exactly. Is there a ship over here? Oh, we actually have training today. What did I unlock that gets me training? Um, we've already finished this ship. So I'll just quickly do this just to see what this is for. Maybe it's the uh, charges. All right, so I did a quick training round learning about pressurization. Something we have to worry about now with hazard level five. Um, what type of ship haven't we done? We already did one of these. The mackerel was the starting one. I do like the Atlas. I believe that's one of the new ships. So we'll start with that one. Not sure if this one's pressurized or not, but we should be able to see on our scanner. And looking around. Okay, anything that's green is pressurized. Great. Injectors intact. You gotta pop off the thruster nozzle and work your way inside from there. Okay, so the trick of it is these thrusters become unstable once you start working on them. The fire starts spreading real fast. When it reaches oh, the great. fuel tank, it's gonna blow. You gotta get in quick and switch off the fuel supply. There's a shutoff switch at the very back. So I missed the starting of that. Probably a bad thing to miss, but I think he said we got to take off the thrusters. That's the only way in. Um, I'm going to double check here just to make sure there's not... There's an airlock here, but it's in the middle of the ship. So I don't think that's an external airlock. That's the only chamber that isn't pressurized, though. Anything that's green is pressurized. Okay, so there is a depressurized chamber here. So I don't need to take the thrusters. I should probably listen to what he said. I just missed the starting because I wouldn't shut up. Um, so I'm going to try and take these off, see if that's even possible. All right, so now that I took those off, we have some weld points here. I might regret this. I feel like I should depressurize first, but I'm scared because the guy told me to access it through here. Worst case. Okay, that just depressurized itself. So I think I'm supposed to rush in here. Oh, that's a good time to get fuel levels low. Okay, so the fuel system... Before we had an empty chamber, the first one we did... I can't even get through here. So if I was to take this off right now, that would be a death wish because there's fuel in those. So I think what he was telling me to do is to take... Is to turn it off over there first and then disassemble this. So we'll worry about the rest of this later. Uh, we'll obviously take this to the barge. All right, so we'll do the typical stuff at the start. Uh, get most of this stuff that needs to go on the barge on there. Is that going to go in? I think so. Okay, and let's depressurize this thing before I regret not doing that. So depressurization right here. We just got to find the vent thing inside. All right, we need, there's usually some around the access point. Okay, there it is right there. Perfect. There's a lot of stuff in this ship. <laughs> These ships got way more complex really quickly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa! I thought I depressurized it! Okay, well, that wasn't too scary. Wait, wait, wait. What is going on? All right, so there goes the whole cockpit that's then been depressurized. Why is the rest of the... I'm so confused already. This is bad. So that was only for this room? Well, that's scary. Let's try and go on the other side. This might be dangerous. All right. And here we are in the cargo bay. Yeah, there's one here. Air pressure level decreasing. Okay. So this one's been depressurized. And oh, that's the whole ship. Okay. So not too bad. The only thing that isn't depressurized now is the airlock, which we should be able to just keep open now. 
And now we don't have to worry about being sucked out of a one-inch hole and uh, turning into, well, ground beef. Okay, sweet. So that's done. Now all we got to worry about is the fuel tanks in the back. I think I'll worry about that later, though. There is so much to this freaking ship. This is going to be a long job. Actually, there's no exit point here, so I think I'm just going to do the simple thing of any sort of weld point, which is lots of them in, them in here, as you can see. We'll start working on those. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, what did I just do? Oh, 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 I didn't realize freaking cargo could catch fire. Can I get a fire extinguisher, maybe? Soft crate. I did not expect that to be dangerous. Okay, let's not put anything by that. There was my first little mistake. Now, I have oxygen somewhere in here, so that's why I didn't run back. We're going to use that. All right, so now we got to be really careful to not set fire on anything in here. Maybe I should bring all this crap out. There's stuff everywhere. That thing is still on fire. Oh, great. I just found a reactor as well. I guess I should have assumed there'd be a freaking reactor in here. Um, Something else we have to worry about getting out. All right, so tomorrow, I think the first thing we'll do is get all the explodey bits out. I am running a big risk here playing with this right by a reactor, but it's deep in this damn place. I don't even know where I am anymore. All right, and there we go. Day is complete. You guys let me know that I don't need to go back. So just save time and uh, work all the way to the end of the day. Uh, definitely didn't do much today. Was more getting rid of weld points, but tomorrow should be a good salvaging day because we have a lot of things that need to go to the barge. All right, day two. Still looks like a whole ship, but as you can see, a lot of those panels no longer are connected. So we should be able to uh, start just selling this stuff like crazy. We'll pull that off. That's definitely disassembled. I want to make sure there's no important pieces on these things though that's something we don't want to fail on the barge items are the important ones so this one's still attached interesting actually it is not attached for some reason it was just harder to pull so we'll use our tethers like crazy here let's get rid of let's start working on the cockpit and that is going into the furnace boom goes the dynamite all right let's go as i said i want to work on the explodey bits first I'm just seeing a lot of things that I miss, so I want to get those as I go throughout this. All right, but now that the cockpit is open, this um, reactor is kind of at the front, actually, which is right in here. I should be able to pull it out, I think, and get it down in time. I hope. We'll find out in a second. Get over here. Get over here. Get over oh, I, oh, there's a wall. Ah! Ah! What, what just happened? All right. I don't care. Get this thing away before it explodes. Oh, crap. We got a fire inside. I really need a fire extinguisher. Thankfully, it doesn't seem to spread too much. But I don't know what I hit there. Looks like it's just a box. We'll get that out of here. Repair kit. Oh, great. Well, we're not going to be needing that. Just throw it into space. Ah, God, I did it again. Oh, it's so annoying. Like, it's so much safer. Uh oh, uh oh. Oxygen leak. Um, Inventory. Repair kit. I still cannot freaking repair this thing. I didn't, I didn't expect a hole. Uh, can we patch that? Put your finger in it, please. I don't know. Hold on. There might be something over here. I've never had a slow oxygen depletion hole. Patch it. Two patch. Okay. That was close. <laughs> okay. There goes the whole cockpit, except for these parts that needs to go in the furnace. Like there's still some lighting in here and whatnot. So we're going to end off the day getting all those small things that go into the barge. All right, and I think the cockpit is done at least. So we're going to bring that over there. It's looking like we're going to run out of time, though, unfortunately. Actually, uh, that's still connected, isn't it? Well, we don't have to worry about it. We're going to lose my tether tomorrow anyways. That was a much better day. We at least hit level one. This is a hard job, though, man. This is really fun. All right, day three. Here we go. I'm hoping we can at least get the majority of... Oh, can't cancel that tether. I didn't realize that would stay. Uh, I'm hoping we can get everything but the jets done today, and then we can worry about those uh, once we complete this. So I just got to figure out how to... Oh, this is all one piece, so I'm not going to be able to sell this till the end. God, everywhere I go, there's just so much for the barge. I, I have spent this whole day just dealing with more or less barge items. So I just hit level two. I have to remember these things can catch fire, so you know what? Let's use the split saw. If I'm really close, that's a better option. It's faster, too. All right, we'll bring that over here. This is just a mess right now. I have moved everything everywhere. 
Uh, I have a great access point for barge items, though. I could probably just shoot through this. Okay, let's not do that. I'm going to break things. All right, I just want to make sure before we get rid of this, we're not missing things like this that need to go to the barge. Is that a light? What is a light doing down there? Get, in, get into the barge. Oh my god, there's still so much in this thing. This is why you triple check things. I still have so many lights in here. All right, but finally, the biggest furnace piece is done. I'm hoping I can miss this because I've almost knocked that into the uh, furnace. I tried to tether it back. It's too heavy to tether. So just in case, I'm going to bring... That's just going to bring that over here. Let's just watch everything. I'm actually going to cancel these tethers. I don't want to run into the risk of uh, moving more things around that I don't need to. We need this to go... What I really wanted to do is go up there. But that when I tried that, it didn't move at all. I think we should be able to get this through. These pieces, man. <laughs> these are some big ones. All right, and as I said, uh, I wanted today to be pretty much just the jets left, and that is exactly what I have left. We'll keep this oxygen here. So yeah, tomorrow we have the fun job of opening these things up and turning off that fuel line so we don't blow up. I still don't know how we're going to get access. Actually, well, no, because we can't get through over here. That's right. Um, God, it's been so long since I used these things. So yeah, this is the only thing I can weld but I obviously don't want to weld that. Did I die? No, I didn't die. Okay, it was the end of the day. <laughs> Considering how much I moved today, uh, only like 300 kilograms of destroyed objects. Not bad, not bad at all. Nice 4 million day. Okay, so I think we're just going to have to make our own access point. Mind you, a lot of this stuff I cannot use my cutter with. It's too strong of material, so I don't even know where I'm going to get access. I am seeing that this one does have some yellow zones. But they're behind. Yeah, they're like, ah, oh, they're inside of it. I don't get this. It's evil. Now, let's see if I can cut this. No, I can't. It's grayed out. Above cut grade. So I, I am going to have to, like, it's forcing me to cut the fuel lines. I've tried so hard to do this right. So unless I can cut this door. Oh, I can. Oh, my God. This whole time. So I can't pull it off. I thought if I could put, if I, if I can't pull it off, I can't cut it. Clearly, this was way easier than I expected. All right. Is this even an access point? Is this a lie? Is this like a false door? What the hell is this? Okay. Now, now I'm very bothered. That whole door or hatch didn't even access it. I thought I finally figured it out and I didn't. All right. Well, I could be doing this wrong, but I just got to accept the fact that sometimes you got to take a risk. Hold on. What is that? Can I pull that off? Can I cut that? No, I, I can't. Damn it. I haven't really tried to squeeze through here either, but I don't think... Yeah, I am... I'm not squeezing through these, I don't think. Ah, oh, it's so frustrating. Okay, well, this could be bad. Clock's ticking now, Cutter. Okay. Get in there and hit that shot. Okay, okay, so yeah, I'm supposed to do this. Okay, this is why I should pay attention to what they're saying. Clock is ticking. I'm trying to pull this out so I can get in. Get out, get out, get out, get out. <gasps> oh, God, this is horrifying. Okay. Oh, this is going to hurt. Ah! 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 Shut it off. Shut it off. Shut it off. Shut, stop! Stop putting out the fire. Shut off the freaking thing. Oh, it's not satisfying. I was on fire. Weaver, this is so dangerous. All right, well, we learned a valuable lesson. Shut up and listen to Weaver at the start. I didn't expect to have to cut the fuel lines to safely turn this thing off. That's that that's that that doesn't really make much sense. Regardless, this should be a very fast job now. Actually, is there anything on these that I need? Doesn't look like it. I th I think we'll be okay. Okay, let's try that again. This time I'm going to use the split saw cuz this should be a bit faster. Oh my god. Oh my Oh my god. Oh, I didn't mean to do it. This is why I hate the split saw. Okay, I'm fine. Everything's fine. I somehow I survived that explosion. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Oh, people are gonna think this is freaking scripted. No, I'm just dumb. I swear. Oh my god, that's so frustrating. That's such a huge piece that just blew up in my freaking face. Fix your radio. Oh, I'm so frustrated. I, I really wanted to get five. I and I'm just below it now. All right, I'm never using the split saw again. We're just going to stick with the laser. It might be slower. People were so frustrated that I had to use the laser in the first episode. You know what? That went really well. Everything screwed up when I started using the split saw. Okay, let's not do that mistake again. We have time. It's just very scary. Should I get my suit repaired? 
I do have to run through fire. You know what? I don't got time for that. We'll, we'll totally be fine. It's all good. It is all good. Okay, don't miss. Don't miss. I know this is slower, but I got to do it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Pull it out. Get out. I got to get in. All right. Don't. Don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh, skills, baby. Turn it off. Oh, why couldn't my second one be that good? Because I had to use the split saw. That's why. Oh, my God. All right. We got one minute left, but we're also out of oxygen. So I have disassembled everything. All we got to do is move it to their right places tomorrow. And after, I don't know, four days of doing this, we finally got this ship done. That was, uh, that's crazy. Like the last ship I did compared to this one, it's just the insane, the, uh, skill difference. All right. Equipment has definitely seen better days. So being that I've been collecting these kits, thankfully they'll come in handy now. I don't know when I'm supposed to repair, but I'm going to use some of them right now. <sighs> and we're back to a hundred percent. All right, this should be an easy day. We have not much left, as you can see. You're still not done. Just go in there, my God. Okay, but there we go, the final piece. And that was by far my hardest ship yet. It's really frustrating. I was so close to a five star or five tier, whatever it is. And unfortunately, I just couldn't get it done. Uh, so I'm trying to pull this as well. It's not going well, man. This one is like wedged. Come on, let's just spend a million more on tethers, great. Like, what are you stuck on? I have five tethers connected to you. Trying to pull this freaking... Okay, I think it's going. It's it's trying. I think it actually is wedged or something. No, it's not really wedged. All right, well, it's no five star, but it's damn close. Finally, we've dealt with that last piece and we are done. I'm going to start heading back. Make sure we sell that first, though. What is going on? What, why do you just not want to go in? What the frick is going on? What was that physics? Why are you the hardest piece? Okay, I think... Is it done? I don't trust it. There we go. Ah, oh, God! <laughs> Usually the last piece is the enjoyable part. That was a that was a pain in the butt, man. Ah, oh, get me out of here. At least we leveled up. All right, and uh, I think on that, we're going to wrap up this episode here, guys. But good news, we have a new tanker to destroy, probably, because I'm really good at taking apart ships, evidently. Um, Yeah, that one was hard enough. Nice to see we're going to have some harder ones in the very near future, though. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed another episode of Hard Space Shipbreaker. Thank you so much for your continued support in this series. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.